I've found that some of the most beautiful places are deeply hidden by nature, tucked away from the rest of civilization. Come right out to it. <laughs> when I found this hidden alpine lake, I planned on living out here for 14 days, but due to the West Coast wildfires, I had to leave after only two. The closest town was an hour away, with the last stretch being a six mile ascent up a bumpy dirt mountain trail and absolutely no cell reception. I was in search of a pristine lake in the sky. I scoured maps and photos looking for something that was attainable but not easily accessible. Luck would have it though that the Sierras are spotted with numerous mountain lakes and at over 8,500 feet I had found my camp spot. In a world of chaos, sometimes it's nice to get lost and lose all sense of time. So I stared up into the sky, floating around in a space of my own. So I got this portable inflatable paddleboard about a month ago and I haven't had time to try it out. I think today is a perfect day. If you look at the map of the Sierra Nevadas, you'll see tons of little secret lakes spotted all over the place, but most of them are pretty difficult to access. You can't just drive right up with your vehicle and jump in the water with your paddleboard. So I thought it's pretty difficult to bring a full size 10 foot paddleboard a mile in. It's a little bit heavy, but still a lot better to transport for hikes in and out to Secret Lakes. So today I'm gonna pump it up, see how it works and try it out. It's kind of the same size as me, but <laughs> still better than a 10 foot paddleboard. Forest bathing, another way of saying spend more time connecting with nature. New research has shown that simply the sight of trees can calm the body, helping to activate our parasympathetic nervous system, lowering blood pressure, pulse, and breathing rate. Hopefully with more research we can better understand the reasons behind this phenomenon, but for now you can find me in the forest. So I bought this paddleboard because you can actually turn it into a kayak as well. <laughs> Check out this beautiful lake behind me. I'm gonna go paddle around, catch some fish with my imaginary fishing pole. Just sitting out here on my paddleboard, it's just me and the fishes. There's gotta be so many fish out here because every time I sit still, there's a fish that jumps. I can't wait to get my fishing rod. Fishing rod, not fishing pool. Thanks for the correction. camera right here usually it's right there filming me but it just fell off my tripod 
into the lake, tumbled three times. So now I'm filming with a GoPro, hence why my hair is wet because I had to jump in. I let go of the paddleboard, had to swim and get the paddleboard. It really was just like a big disaster. Hoping this will dry out. They're water resistant, but they're not waterproof. And it literally just submerged into this murky lake. Pretty upset about it, but oh, trying to think positive. It's gonna dry out, maybe it'll work, but all I have now is a GoPro, but I don't have a tripod for the GoPro because I don't usually shoot with the GoPro. So I'm going to literally duct tape the GoPro to the tripod. <laughs> the quality is not gonna be as great, sorry. Things don't always go as planned, but that's the beauty of an adventure. You never really know how it's going to end. Even though I ruined my really nice camera and I got smoked out and had to leave early, I'm still thankful for the two days that I got to spend with the serene lake and I hope to return soon to do some fishing.